Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 here in Memphis, Tennessee on this uh, second Saturday in 2018. I'm still having trouble. Uh, you know, I used to have trouble when I wrote checks. Now, what's a check? You know, I mean, that's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, my wife wanted me to write a check to the pharmacy the other day, and the girl said, what is this? No, I mean, uh, it was, it's, hey, uh, you know, you either use, uh, wait a minute. You uh, know, checks yeah. are probably uh, as common as cash is now. Well, we you put know, them, unfortunately. Yeah, you put them in, the, in that bail book uh, yeah. thing uh, that, you, yeah, that you have. It's you crazy. Know. It's the truth. Uh, I, I, I rarely use cash for anything. No, uh, that's well, that's true. I rarely have. I don't have. I rarely any, have. Cash. I don't have any cash, so I don't have <laughs> See, to worry me and Ron, about it. We don't have a regular job you know, like John, you do. Oh, you, well, know, you know, John's uh, got a. Will you, will you feed us tonight? <laughs> yeah, tonight. You're waiting till tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you must have eaten in a couple of days. Hey, we want to cut into this guy's time because I know he's a busy man back there in Oklahoma and. Uh, has been on this show before, and we always like to talk to about uh, Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland lures, and particularly in January when we're all going stir crazy now that deer season is in, it's now time to uh, it's go been kill a few ducks. You know, it's time to hit the waterfowl. But, uh, Ron, why don't and you? And it's still time to fish. Uh, why don't you introduce this uh, gentleman that's uh, coming on with us on Outdoors, Larry Ray? Well, he, he's, uh, he is an entrepreneur a uh, owner of several businesses, of which one is Gene Rue Bobby Garland. Yeah. Good friend of the radio show here of Outdoors with Larry Ray, Chris Lindenberg. Chris, good afternoon, good morning. Good morning. Golly, what am I thinking you're, about? You're so wound yeah. up you don't know what time of day <laughs> Good morning. How are you? It took him three I'm hours to get here. You know. Doing well. It's a good morning. Yeah. Well, yes, it is. Chris, um, you know, a lot of people, they kind of hang up their fishing rods and everything else because it's hunting season, which is good. That's and, okay. And I'm glad that you they like do that. that. But also, it is about that time to get ready for uh, the upcoming spring. And, uh, you know, you guys at uh, Gene LaRue, Bobby Garland have been working throughout the year developing new stuff. And, and there's some new products you guys are coming out with. In 2018, yeah, that I'm really excited about, and Larry's gonna love some of these names. Oh, give me names! All give right. me names. The Wheeler Hammer Crawl. Whoa, 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 whoa! The Wheeler Hammer Crawl. Right. Is and that two th words or three? Three okay. words. Okay, three words. All right. <laughs> uh, the three and a half inch rock banger. Well, I had part of it right. Three and a half inch. And the six inch big hunk. Big hunk. Now that's that's got my picture on it right big now. I can see it. Big shad. <laughs> Why are you laughing, John? That's what it is. The big hunk of shad. It's Elvis. And the two and a half inch pile diver. That's it. I you mean, named them. Did you, you named all four new ones for eighteen? <laughs> did you did you name those, Chris? I mean, I did not name them. Oh, I'm the last person they asked for a name. Oh, come on. Well, is that job still open? Because I think I need to come up and help <laughs> oh, them. You know. <laughs> I'm a hunk of man right here. You know? I guess. Yeah, come on. Aren't they? Now, now Ron, we've had, I'm going to talk about these things, but isn't the name, the colors, aren't those in marketing important today? Yes, very important. Very important, absolutely. How would you yeah. rank that as, uh, uh, you know, this could be the world's greatest lure, but if you're not marketed right and you don't have that name and color, I think that that's the tracks. When I go down the aisle and there's 18,000 lures down there, I'm going to see a Gene LaRue and Bobby Garden lured, and it's going to be packaged well. It's going to have a cool name, and the colors are going to be great. And you can put it next to something else, and I'm going to look at that one first. Am I stupid? No. I, no, but I, that's what everybody wants to see, though. Okay. I'll serve my Absolutely. purpose. Absolutely. Let's talk about these lures now. Yeah, well, the the hammer craw is, is, can be a jig trailer or just a swim, uh, a swim jig. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's for, for Jacob Wheeler, J who's on our pro staff. That's mm -hmm. what I thought, yeah. Uh -huh. And Jacob is a tremendous, tremendous fisherman. Yes, I mean, he is. I Absolutely. I think yeah. he is so underrated that because he's so young. He's the first yeah. millionaire 
<laughs> at 22 years old. Is that not something? Yeah, <laughs> and and you know, last year he came close to winning AOY. Yes, yeah. For his uh, first year on the elite side, he, he's won a FLW Forest Wood Cup. I mean, gee whiz! And he got second the year year after that. That's right, man. Yeah, it, it's just remarkable, and and we're we're so tickled to have Jacob, you know, on our pro staff, and he has some great ideas, and he he's a a young. A uh, young buck out there that is hungry, and uh, uh, we're we're just happy happy to have him on the staff. And this is this is his signature bait that we came out with this year. This is what he wanted. Well, like I said, it, you can put it on his uh, on a swim jig. You can throw it by itself, you know, Texas rig, or you can mm-hmm. put it on a jig itself. But it has tremendous action, and we we're already seeing a lot of a lot of good sales out of this because of the action of this lure. Yeah, it's an awesome bait. I um, mean, so many things. Then the rock banger. i got to tell you something. <laughs> I've banger. almost oh. quit using crankbaits because of treble hooks, because I hate to deal with treble hooks. But you guys have come out with a rock banger, which is a soft plastic crankbait. That's a rock bait. Amazing. Yeah, it, it is. It, it's our answer to a to a soft plastic crankbait, and it's got a, it, it's kind of sized like one, three and a half inches, uh, but we only have one hook. I mean, right. we're basically designing this bait to run with our free swinging hardhead, right? And mm. which also has tremendous action to just about any soft plastic lure you want to put on a hardhead, and but really this thing has really taken off. And it looks just like a crankbait, but it's a soft plastic. It's not hard. Right. So right. when they bite into it, and you got one hook, you don't have trouble hooks. That's right. You got one hook, and uh, we're seeing a lot of success with it for uh, large mass and small mouth. Right. Huh. It's and, only got uh, one hook. Yeah. You know, they Texas rig it on uh-huh. the hard head yeah. jig that they have. And George Tolson was ta- talking to me about. Uh, testing this particular bait he said you know it's so easy to use too you throw it out let it go to the bottom and you drag it slowly across the bottom and with a big tail it has on it and it banging on rocks in the bottom it creates the vibrations to get those fish to bite are you going to get to do that so we'll uh, maybe have I, something I, on the, our website what? yeah I we're going to try to get it i've uh written off to george to send us some and yeah we're gonna, yeah i want to i want to see uh, some it's, kind it's of video with stuff. that and again we're talking uh right now with chris lindenberg lindenberg of uh gene larue uh bobby garland lures and out of uh really uh tulsa oklahoma tulsa oklahoma but he lives in broken era which uh is one of my favorite places uh, to stop when i'm driving through oklahoma you now, come up through there Chris, you guys, you know, earlier we talked about new colors, too. No, oh, we did. And, you know, your pro staff that you have, both at Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland, Ooh, yeah. really help you to determine what new colors are going to be good and when what's needed because different colors are used throughout, uh, differently throughout the country. You know, I mean, there's some places... Uh, a particular color is good, but your pro staff helps you put together all those colors. Some of the new ones that you guys got out, uh, blue chrome, diamond dust, miss, green banana, yep. n- neon prism. Keep going. Purple passion. I'm getting in the mood now. Ugly duckling. Oh, that's it. That's got to be mine. I, I have to tell you, yeah. these are yeah. some Color. amazing colors. They're, they're great. And, and Ron... Really, basically, to answer your question, these the names are really, really critical. They uh, are yeah. in marketing, uh, mm-hmm. and they they're what brings a customer back. That's right. Yeah. To know exactly what they want is that color. Yeah. And if it's watermelon, what is watermelon? I mean, everything's watermelon. <laughs> yeah. Even, <laughs> even the gum, I choose watermelon. Okay. So, yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> You do want to differentiate, you mm-hmm. know, colors and names and make them kind of unique, and uh, and and we a lot of these colors that we come up with, I'll tell you, a lot of them come up with from customers. Customers, okay, wow. all right. So you all listen right. to your customers yeah. then, 
And yeah. Oh, uh, we listen to our customers. I mean, we've had literally had I've had people come up to me in a, in a tackle store, uh-huh. and they find out that I'm, you know, associated with Bobby Garland, yeah. or Jean Larue, uh-huh. and I mean, they will tell me they'll have one in their hand. Oh, oh they will. <laughs> and they'll say, "You don't have this, but this is just a really productive lure that I've used for years." Uh-huh. And so we always take that into consideration every year when we're going to do new colors. We take into consideration what they're saying. And like you said, Ron, different colors work in different waters and also in different areas of the U.S. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's crazy, on the baby shad, which is the number one lure yeah. we think in the U.S., Yeah. you know how many colors we have? Tell me. Uh... 81. 80, I was going to say, I was going to say 82. I just it's had it. Uh, it's I, yeah. ridiculous. I looked at Ron and thought of 82. You know, so I, just, I don't know what it was. That, it just, that would be me. It, it, let me ask you something before we go, because uh. I, uh, I know we got a couple of minutes here and we've been talking fishing, but I got to let the folks know one of my favorite shows, and, and this is for sure, is the Major League Fishing All Angles TV show. Yep. And, and you guys have stepped forward as the new presenting sponsor. Hats off to you, buddy. Hey, it would happen to be, it was kind of interesting, actually General Tire moving up yeah. to be the MLF. Uh, I love Major League Fishing. And yeah. we, we were able to discuss and negotiate a really good deal. We thought that we could move up to, a, to that medium, and uh, they've been great to us and uh, really have had had a fun time with him, and I really enjoy that show. Yeah, I do angles. too. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, you know, this is for 2018, and uh, I look at this is big time for you guys. And I know when I look back, and I know that Chris Lindenberg from Sapulpa, <laughs> Oklahoma, uh, is that right? Am I close? Sapulpa, Sapulpa, Oklahoma, <laughs> never saw that someday he'd be. Uh, his his company would be the premier sponsor for Major League Fishing All That's Angles cool. TV show, and uh, my hats off to you, Chris. Well, I mean, tell you, we we really are excited about it, and uh, of course, you know they're right here in Tulsa. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so that and is, that's that... what is really fun. And uh, actually, I talked to uh, to them today, and I'm going to have lunch with them next Thursday. But uh, yeah, we've gotten to be really close with them, and uh, they're going to do us a really good job. We're really pleased to be on that show. Well, good. It's, uh, go to major. Go to majorleaguefishing dot com. And out also, button. Ron, close it out. Right. With We're going to close it out real quick because in another segment down the road, Crappie University, Bobby Garland is one of the major sponsors. I know that. Of it. Yeah, it's coming here, so, isn't it? It's yes, coming, coming there here to Memphis. It's, in yeah. February, it's coming to Southwest Community yep. College in February. So we want to. We're going to talk about that later on down the line. Let's do because. Uh, and I, Chris, we've got to stay in touch with you uh, as you guys continue to come up with all these wonderful colors and wonderful new baits. Yeah, uh, I, wish I, you all the best in 2018, buddy. I just never, hey, I you ne- guys too, and I certainly appreciate your time to reach out to us so we can visit. I never thought that there would be a lure named after my cousin. <laughs> Ugly Duckling. You know what I mean? That's, uh, I could just oh, see her right so now. Toss a car. car. <laughs> yeah. We'll That's see you, it. Chris. Have a good one, buddy. Okay. All right. You too. <laughs> okay. Let's take a break, and uh, we're going to talk a little more fishing, and then we're going to throw in Blue Mountain College. And we're going to find out. Toppers. Oh, he's looked it up. No, 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 no. You came looked, out of my no, ass. No, you looked it up over. A, what was that Great you just run. made? Make it sound again. I never, that's never been on Outdoors Larry. That's good. That's good. All right. We'll be right back. You can find.